recording? Okay. I'm, I'm starting now. <laughs> you started. Okay. This I have... can't be for free. All right. <laughs> She'll show up if she shows up. If Sherry shows up, she shows up. Okay, we're like, okay, we're recording. That's fine. So, That's uh, yeah. So I talked about like wanting to potentially discuss um, the resurrection, the uh, the Perusia well, Techno one at a time. and one at a time. Project Bluebeam. Pick one. <laughs> uh well i mean what what made me think about that was like your so i i thought about oh. your project bluebeam thing which i'd never heard of like until you brought it up because hey, you tell the audience about it i'm gonna go find my dice <laughs> okay go find your dice yeah uh so project bluebeam is uh uh the is i don't want to i mean i don't i don't want to be i don't want to insult you by calling it a conspiracy theory but like uh um, but it is, you know, uh, generally considered a conspiracy theory that, uh, depending on the version of it, NASA or some other organization uh, has plans to essentially um, to, f to fake the, the Perusia, to fake the second coming uh, by projecting an image into the sky. And I just... It's not. I, I. I don't. I don't really have an opinion about the veracity of the conspiracy theory, one way or another. What just occurs to me is like, what is, who's going to be fooled by this? Like, like whose framing of the Perusia, is is so materialistic that that's like, what they think it is. Oh. Like they think it's like, literally Jesus like cloud surfing, in a way that could be faked by projecting images into the sky have you seen the uh cities over china projection no no oh we'll see you, it's no, it beautiful no, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not right i'm not disbelieving okay i'm hold like on, I said, hold I'm on. Not we, we gotta okay we gotta roll savings throw versus mind okay. control for everybody in okay. the audience uh, the choices are between heart social survival and wisdom, not usually in that order. It's survival, social, wisdom, and heart. Um, so everybody picks one. What would you pick one? Me? I'm definitely a wisdom guy. All right. Sophist. Good. All right. Here we go. Here's the dice. Here's the dice. Survivalist. Got a 13. Oh, Lord. Look. I, I, I'm. Let's, okay. A socialist got a four. But uh, the you're in deep shit. This is a nat one. A nat one. Uh oh. Yeah. yeah. So you're uh -oh. you're getting converted. I'm sorry. You're gonna love it though. It's great <laughs> over here. And the heart folks got all twelve, so you're gonna be all right. All right. All right. So now right. blue beams. So I don't know what you told everybody. So let, let me let me lay it out in case you got it wrong while I was go for it. No, go for it. Yeah, that's this is more your area of expertise. My only point was like, like I'm I don't really care about the, the the theory itself. My concern was, well, what kind of like who's fooled by this? Like, who thinks that what the Perusia is is something that you're going to that's going that you're going to see with your material eyes. Well, for your before we we say hello to the new person, for, for just just to that, I batted hey, away. Hey, Sherry. I batted away with um, um, maybe the people who think the Earth is six thousand years old. Oh, hey, right, Sherry. Yeah. Right, right, exactly. Right. So Christians who are already captured by materialism. That's that is right. You tell me about your Perusia, he said to me, and I, I wasn't ready. Welcome. Is that that's what you're talking about? Perusia? Yeah, about why I think that that Project Bluebeam uh, it would only would only fool people who were already captured in a materialist frame, who were already probably fully fully on board with techno babble anyway, because they're already trapped in a materialist frame. I just I just finished my catechism class and we just talked about the eschaton. Oh and yeah, was, yeah. It was really okay. Good. So let's talk about what you learned in your Orthodox catechism. Okay, so this lady, guy, this lady just went to church, and they were playing <laughs> Pokemon, and she caught an eschaton, and she's going to tell us about it now. <laughs> Are we that recording is, this? Or no? uh, yeah, he already started recording. So. Oh, you did? Yeah, oh. Yeah. oh, yeah. Okay, okay. 
All right. Tell me, tell tell you about my eschaton? Yeah, that's what you caught at church, right? You caught the eschaton with your catechism. <laughs> you know, you're lucky I even know what Pokemon is. <laughs> <laughs> You'd look, you might have been asking you what is Pokemon, but I happen to know, so that makes me special. Um, yeah, well, we're old, we're old people, Grim. So <laughs> I, I, need, I need to translate the, the people that don't know what the word Peoria and Eschatons mean. Like right until I fell in with you, crew, I didn't really know what a catch catchism is. So. <laughs> You guys are gonna have to dumb it down a little bit, or I'll like help you dumb it down enough. Oh, we don't need no, no yeah, yeah, dumb it down my ass. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. to the type of people yeah, that yeah. believe that Jesus is actually gonna be cloud. -surfing. Right. I, well, I know. I mean, I mean, yeah. I don't think we need to uh, dumb down anything for your sake. That's that. No, no, I feel yeah. By the way, Graham, I feel you're, dumb you're, when you're, I can't talk about Pokemon. <laughs> Your, your conversation with Paul is my all-time favorite and probably the number one reason why I kept watching him. Wow. See, yeah. I've, I've gotten a lot of praise, but not that I bothered to keep watching Paul because of you. That's a great <laughs> no, one. No, for real. I was about ready to give up on him until you used to like, yeah, this, this, that like this, that he's had this conversation. And yeah, that, that was really, it was, I thought it was really great. It was good. He had no idea what was coming. I haven't finished it yet, to be honest. My I original I one? of anything lately but yeah it's all right you should watch it you should watch I, it. I i started it and i was loving it but so that's where i like his his, his grim's bringing down the fourth wall project see that's where we're aligned okay what, that, what, what that's why as about? different as our approaches are that's where that's where the alignment is between grim and i okay so what is bringing down the fourth wall project Grim? okay well, it means this it means uh, destroying uh, the structure. She said grim. <laughs> you're right <laughs> <laughs> thank you Thank you for putting me in my place because I have a terrible habit of interrupting. Okay, lady. What happened? And I'm trying was, to get better. What happened was the devil done snuck in and made everybody put altars up to him in their homes. <coughs> and it's put you all under a terrible, terrible spell. And part of that spell, what were we talking about again? Fourth wall. Oh, oh. Okay, so there's you have the the humans have the campfire circuitry. Um, for whatever reason, probably because it helped us survive all those millennia, whatever. Um, so, like, the television engages that. And, like, that's when your tribal elders are passing on information and stuff. So, it's like, yeah, I'm sure that it, like, it has to do with brainwave states when you sit in front of it and whatnot. But um, those things are hijacked and make you everybody feel like they're audience. And like you'll like if you watch the movie, well, you, I'm sure Sherry's a big fan of Deadpool, um, but but there's certain there's certain characters in series that do break the fourth wall, and that's that's what the fourth wall I'm referencing when I do it. It's the the wall that behind which you are audience and not a human. So okay, and, which plays right into our culture of experts, which is total bullshit. That's why. <laughs> It, it leads to people just believing things on authority and not thinking for themselves. Mm. Well, it also leads to the... To, to sure, the because you're like, because that's what it is to be an audience member. You're like, it, and this is like, this is like your typical, this is your typical Protestant church service too, right? Where it's like set up, it's like a theatrical kind of a thing where you have the, like, you know, you know, the pastor who's in, you know, in front of the congregation uh, you have like you know all the like super emotional music and it's like well, a theatrical I a performance i have a theory for that the reason that happens like i lived in switzerland for 11 years and that is a culture of experts everyone in switzerland is an expert in their field okay they they in grade six they have to choose what they want to be for the rest of their life and then Depending on that, they, they have like a streaming educational system, right? So mm. um, there's three different levels of high school. Um, and depending on what you decide you want to be and your grades, of course, your, your intellectual capabilities, you move into one of those three streams. Yeah, but it feeds, the, it feeds technique because it's like you're chopping up knowledge. And depending like de you're, depend you're, you're pretending that what matters is that that you have like 
this expertise in this super narrow area of focus as well, if that's yeah. as if that led to wisdom okay okay okay, okay. Well, let, let's recap recap oh but wait wait i just finished my what i wanted to say so by the age of 15 you are already doing what you're going to be doing for the rest of your life you're already there you're doing that so you're going to be a hairdresser you start at 15 you're going to be a bank teller you start at 15 you're going to be a scientist you start at 15 right and that and that's what you do so you have this entire society that everyone is a something and they're really good at what they do a waitress is i think a four-year apprenticeship in switzerland and you have to know wine and you know high cuisine and table settings and you know you can serve some truck driver off you know who pulls off the side of the road for for lunch or you can serve the queen you can do both of those things right when you're done so you're, you're an expert everyone is an expert but but they lack and i hate to say this you know it's a general it's it's a broad brush thing but they lack empathy and sympathy for other people because they don't enter in to anything else they're they're really on their own track you know what i'm saying well we're we're not any better though i was more concerned i mean why do you think why, why do you think people like, like why do you think you why do you think why do you think people like brett weinstein and wait a minute and whoa, Neil, whoa, whoa, Neil deGrasse whoa. tyson have no ability to have no ability to even engage in the most basic of philosophical arguments without looking like dumbasses. Sir, yeah, but that, that's, sir, yeah. sir, that's not how we troll those people. <laughs> it's we, true. We, we troll Tyson by saying, you remember when this whole <laughs> lockdown thing started? You said this was an experiment to see whether or not people believe in science. That's how we troll him. Weinstein, we say the portal's behind you. Just believe. <laughs> I, I I'm sorry that I I, I, I lack your trolling foo. <laughs> I, I it's delicate. These these are very delicate egos, and if you don't troll them with like, you have to know them well enough to troll them right. Like a... I, think, I think though what I was trying to say was that the older a society gets, the more targeted it it becomes it's like that thing that peterson talked about grim you know with your eyes in the front of your head and humans are really good at targeting mm, yeah right? it's, it's the hyper but they focus peripheral vision and and that seems to be what we tend towards over time as a group we tend towards this super hyper focusing in on on things right and we lose yeah. We're, now, it's technique. Now, to be fair, I don't know a lot about Switzerland, but if I'm so correct me where I'm wrong, because that's really all I ever want on the internet. If you can go yeah. through all my videos and tell me where I'm wrong, we'll win. Um, is Switzerland where they have the CERN? Yes. And so the people who did the the Shiva dance in the CERN were experts at doing the Shiva dance. I don't know. You would think do? since they were there's experts in Switzerland. <laughs> yeah. And if they were experts at deceiving the public, they would be going to the Switzerland. And if they were going to like make it look like Jesus came back so the Christians had nothing to wait for. Oh, I'm go go ahead, Nathan. I'm sorry. You're saying the Swiss are the right people for the job. They're, they seem to be experts. They would seem to be the experts based on <laughs> well, this conversation. The thing is that CERN though in Switzerland it's not just Swiss people. People from all over the world, scientists from everywhere. Yeah, okay. apparently that Kastrup guy worked there, which is fascinating to me because mm -hmm. what he's spewing is exactly the same stuff that I got from the channel lady on the internet. So, like, I mean, there's a little bit of difference where, like, he's not so sure that it's a, that it's not a dumb learning thing. But other than that, it's pretty much the same as channel, and it's his big theory, and he used to work at CERN, so... I'd love to talk it's, to that. Yeah, person. but it's like, it's nothing. I mean, it's not, it's like anyone who's ever dropped acid thinks that. I mean, it's not, it's nothing. It's not Today, like he has a pretty, oh, I mean, it's, it's not like it's oh, a really God. unique idea. Like, oh, you mean consciousness is prior to everything else? I mean, it's not a novel idea. Castro is, this is his idea. Yeah, he thinks that, he thinks that the universe is conscious, essentially. 
Right. Which is not a not a remotely novel idea. Today, it's, young it's, man, it's, 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 it's the oldest idea of all. It's it's animism. It's pantheism. Here's Tom with the we- oh, you've disabled me, sir. I can't. Here's Tom with the weather. <laughs> I didn't disable you. Re-enable me. Re-enable. How, me. Oh, how do I do it? Uh, the screen share. There's a thing that says let uh-huh. everybody else do it. Oh, one at a time. Okay, multiple. It, it, it says one at a time. You're not disabled. Multiple participants can share simultaneously. It can take it. It can take it if we both. Do All right, it. there you fine. go. Okay, here's Tom Before with it. the weather. Tom with the weather. Good morning, folks. We had the part three special video come out last night. We've got the other climate update here, some interesting space images, and close-in solar dynamics. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun with a multi-headed hydro-looking coronal hole coming up from the South Pole. Right now, the geomagnetic conditions have stabilized to the higher plasma right. pressure. I, it is. I like the pretty part at the beginning. That's all. <laughs> It is pretty. No, stop, Mike. Oh, there's the stop button. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. You said acid. I was triggered. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. And so, so back to Christ coming No, but back. I mean, no, seriously, I mean, it really is. I mean, that is like really kind of like, it's a, which that's not, I don't say that dismissively. It's like when it's like, when it is like the, the, sort of the religion that you find amongst any like primitive people group hey and hey, hey who are you also... to judge right okay <laughs> you know, first okay. Just a label. all right let's let's talk i'm not judging i'm not judging it in anticipation i'm not of a this... fan of i'm not a fan of modernity so oh wait hold on i gotta fix my um in, a, in anticipation of this discussion i um i was having thoughts okay and and one of those thoughts was like those Greeks everybody's all all happy with. Mm-hmm. That's when the soul got ripped out, right? Because people were like, it, psyche used to meant main soul, but so we pulled it out and studied it and made it an ology. It's like this is this is not your soul anymore. We're studying it. It's a psychology. We're, we're studying. Okay. So, like, maybe all of the Greco-Roman gods, like Zeus and whatnot, were primitive psychology, and they didn't worship them like people think they did. That sounds right. Well, and also, did you know Pajot goes to give talks in Jupiter, and he says Zeus is real? What? Sorry, go ahead. He gives talks in Jupiter? Meaning... I don't know what it means, man. What's the symbolism there? Um, well, I, I think when I don't have a problem with him saying Zeus is real. Um, I think that like you have to understand that essentially that when you're talking gods, angels, or forms, you're talking about the same thing. They're just different words for the same exact thing. So in Hebrew, in the in, in Hebrew language, you you refer to the to, to angels, uh, and right. in oh, let me poke philosophy you refer you to form, and in mythology you refer to gods. It's all the same thing. It's all talk. It's it's you're you're talking about the the immaterial essences of things. Let me poke you. Sure, go for it. Um, if I go touch a lady, might she be healed? She might. Sure. Um, okay, because you, you, I know you're very anti materialist, but you seem also very materialist. So I was trying to get a feel for that there. Like, we're you, all, we're, we're, we're all also materialists because that's the default of our era. Well, because and we our have time all... and place, and we only, we, that's what, that's why we need to be constantly challenging it. It's because we have bodies, Nate. Those are the collective representations that we have. That are going to be resurrected? Well, I mean, we live in a body. Well, okay. Let's talk about the resurrection body. 
it's weird. There is what what ha whatever happens in the resurrection, it is not the same thing that happens to Lazarus when Lazarus is raised from the dead. And Jesus's resurrection body is not exactly the same as the body he had prior to the crucifixion. Well, what do we know about it? It's got finger holes. Right. Yeah, the fingers holes in the fish, but it also but 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 it also it also is not limited by space or time and uh, appears and disappears at will um, can not be can, can not be recognized and then suddenly recognized like the accounts are bizarre. Whatever they're recounting, it's not like like the zombie Jesus meme is not the right way of thinking about it. That's not what the resurrection is. It's more like they spike. and when and, and when he's when he when he says to, when he says this of, of the bread and the wine this is my body this is my blood he's serious well there, there is the mushroom he's inter, cult because angle. he enters he enters into everything i mean there, there are people running around saying that that the whole christian thing was a mushroom cult and that would explain any appearances post tomb I, and I also the that it doesn't there. i mean you, you don't need it to be a mushroom cult though no i mean yeah it's that sweet sweet okay. anti-doron they won't give me i think like most of the i mean most of that most of the mushroom cult evidence comes from from the south of france uh during the time that the albigensian heresy was going on which is probably not an accident all right probably all right, the, all right. the the Al the albigensians the albigensians nobody knows what that a, word means the, stop, the, it, the albigensians, stop it stop it okay <laughs> Well, wait, I want to hear that. The Albigensians, what? Well, the Al that's the, also the part of France where, where Kabbalah first appears, too, by the way. But I actually don't think that, I don't, but I don't, I don't really think that Kabbalah comes, develops under the influence of, of Gnosticism, as, as some people have suggested. I actually think it does have a genuinely ancient roots, and I think the New Testament is part of the evidence for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you guys make of all the pre Jesus Jesuses as Christians? Like Mithras and whatnot. Mm -hmm. What do you? I right. mean, what do you do with that? As it's, a, I'm a perennialist, so I don't have a problem with it. I think, that, but I believe in the resurrection. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe in the. I don't believe that the resurrection is merely a physical event. I'm not. It's not that I'm denying that there is a physical element to it, right? So he does eat a fish. You know, Thomas is able to to put it to put his fingers in the holes. So he's able to manifest in that way. And he also consumes for some food, reason. But saying. he also can be but he but he also can be with he can also be a body that is that is not limited by space or time. Who can't? At, at the same time. What was that? I said who can't? Well, yes. Right. Okay, so like the way you're because the way that, because the, uh, because our because let me, let me. The you just said something really important, though, Grim. Mm -hmm. Write it down in, in, in your journal. Because hold because on, Jesus' on. humanity stop is stop also... It, Nathan, oh, stop okay. I'm going to say Sorry. words, and you're going to let me by God. All right, I forgot. I spilled my saving throw. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> your take on the Bible seems to be, with your view of perennialism, that the part where he says, is this what's-his-face come again? means that Jesus was on the reincarnation wheel and, and got off at the crucifixion, at which point he became an ascended master. No, I think that Jesus knows weird. What I think is weirder than that. I think that I think that Jesus's incarnation means that 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 the divine and the human in coming into contact in the person of Jesus Christ, that humanity enters the divine and w when when the when the bible tells us that we are the body of christ it means that quite seriously and our humanity is the same as jesus's humanity so whatever you see jesus do is within your own potency i like and the that's angle what we're headed that's the form you're headed toward. That's what theosis means. Now we're 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 diverse over here, so let's let the lady talk. Sure. Me? Oh yeah. You're... I was just I was just looking at my notes from my my catechism, <laughs> and uh, 
Well, you got a wild no, fish in the house. Try and catch it. This, this, <laughs> this, um, you know, like when someone in the class asked, you know, what about Jesus coming, coming back? Like, what does that look like to the Orthodox Church? And so this is his appearing, right? But his appearing is, it's, it's, God is always coming down. And I found this really, um, especially in light of our conversations, Nate, on the apocalypse of St. John, because mm -hmm. God's, God's intention for, for creating the world was completed at the cross, at the cross, right? And, and so when, when the appearing, the, uh, the unveiling, the apocalypse, the revelation of God is that he's already here, okay? He's, the world is divine. And, and what, what, what happens is that divine comes to the fore. And, 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 and the intention for creation comes to the fore. It's a slow unveiling. And God it's, is not coming down. It's, when, it's like when Grim... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you just say the Orthodox view is that God is not coming down? He is. He is coming down. But he's already here. He's already he, arrived. He's everywhere. It's, it's like it's like when you pointed your camera at the ground and we're singing, "Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord." That's exactly right. It's yeah. like Bulgakov's well, meditation. The kingdom of heaven has been at hand for two thousand years. The kingdom of heaven is right in our midst right now, and we just need to have eyes to see it. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like it's if in I just, you. That... It's in you. It's in the earth. It's in. It's 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 in everything if you have eyes. To okay, see it. your take the the thing you just said about the kingdom of heaven, that means all I have to do is raise my frequency, and everything will change around me. That's how change your frequency, change that's your vision. A, that's that's right. That's attendance, right? That 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 is attention, and it's always about attention and realization, and that's why I find it so fascinating that our eyes are in the front of our head and that we don't have this peripheral vision anymore, because we lose attention over time. We, we become hyper-focused on one thing. We're, we're all experts. Meet right? somebody who uses TikTok, lady. <laughs> well, but that's, a, but that's the thing is like, that's the kind of thing that distracts us from being able to see what's really real. You mean that's yeah. the Lucifer? We're distracted. No. Yeah, right, yes, that is exactly it, yes. Yes. That is the game of the Archons is to distract you from, from what's real. So you admit that paintball for Jesus is our only hope. In as much as I understand what you mean by that, yeah, please, gonna, please, please share with us like what you targeting, mean. If you're targeting for Jesus, then yeah. Okay, so. That's where your attention is. For, yeah. for example, I, I recently visited with some human folk. And like um, when, when they weren't eating, since they were retired, they just sat in front of the altar. And like, mm -hmm. you know, I overheard things such as like, our nation's being torn apart by, a, by this case. And, um, yeah. and that's happening also with the children, but like, it's more, it's more um, strange days with them. Um, they're going to hate coming out of there to eat with you, et yeah. cetera, et cetera. And like, as somebody who played way too many video games and also played paintball way too late in life, I realize that the best shot any of you have at saving your children is getting them onto the paintball field. Mm -hmm. And that the best shot of saving any of your churches is to getting young people in them. And so that the churches should like fund a six person paintball team in their local thing. So like, to play on our team, you have to attend this church. So you get young people in the churches playing paintball, living clean in their own bodies, and not trapped in this VR nightmare Mark Zuckerberg has for everybody planned. Mm -hmm. Paintball for Jesus, baby. Or anything yeah. real. Anything real. No, but you you can't brand anything real. <laughs> There's no marketing. Anything yes, real. I, I suck at marketing. I can go I can go from church to church saying paintball for Jesus. I can't go from yeah. church to church saying anything yeah. real. So yeah. paintball for Jesus. That's Absolutely. Under, 
Oh I, yeah, I just yeah, successfully communicated it to some people now. At least yeah, I, I, I get it. I get it. I get what you're talking okay. about. Okay, totally understand that, that. That's the important part. And it yeah. and it's and it's uh, it's true on a, a bunch of levels, right? Like, yeah. If nothing else, paintball for your mind to think about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, um, I'm winding down. I'm just down. not sure though. I'm just not sure though, Grim. How, how, what's the utility in filling up churches? Like, I don't even mm. know what that means. Well, what is a church? Some about it's gathering it in his point. name. Yeah. Um, and plus, the news will see the attendance. I don't. I don't know. I guess it depends on the church you go to. But the church needs to be more than that, though, Grim. Yeah. Like I'm particular, like especially like I see your I, I, I hear your in the spirit <laughs> gonna move the people. Yeah, that's true. I, I I hear I hear your frustration about like you know, like you no, know, I don't the care. constant obsession. No, no, with no, 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 I don't care. I'm out. Okay, I'm out. I'm you're out. You're it's, out. It's, UP, it's the but best. It, but you're I'm out. Trying to be of service to you folks. You're out. Meaning they're. I'm not taking the mark. They're gonna put me down. So, okay. I'm. I have no vested interest, but, but you, other than to earn my death, earn the best well, death I can. So, here we go. I think save your kids while you can. You can't. I. I. I don't really think we're we're there yet. Well, maybe not you, but maybe somebody that watched. So. No, what I mean is, is that I think I don't think it's that far gone yet. Yeah, I didn't like your take on Revelation. <laughs> I mean, the scorpions are helicopters. It's not. <laughs> what what I what 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 I'd like for you religious folk to do with the Book of Revelation is look at how the first seven letters map out to your actual lives right now, because that's the most important thing a faithful person could do with that book. I yeah, think. totally. Yeah, I agree. And, and there, are, there are ways to map those seven letters onto your life right now. Absolutely. I, want so you don't map, identify, I also want you to map them onto chakras, but that's like an advanced one. <laughs> you don't identify yourself as a faithful person? Who? You don't identify yourself as a faithful person? And did you see did you see Judd's video where he actually talked about chakras? No. And the cosmic, and no. the cosmic map? You should check it out. I, I need people to send. I need people to learn how to be reapers and send me clips of things before I get hooked enough to go actually watch anything that the algorithm. I, yeah, I, me. I totally understand. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. No, but seriously, like, like, what do you, what do you mean when you say? I mean, especially give, given the way you, you, the way you defined faith recently, which was right. Um, I try real hard to believe that God believes in me. He does. That's, he does. Yeah, that's that's all I got. Cause like that um, can be really hard. That can be really really hard for some for some people, particularly depending on like what their life experience has been. That's a lot. That's something that's harder for some people than for others. I have an ad adamantite. And, and my my heart really breaks for it. people that that's difficult for. And a lot of our churches don't do a good job of making. If churches are failing at making people realize that that they've failed entirely, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. And I think that they. I don't think know. any church cares that that some guy on the internet thinks they failed entirely. Like I, I met a pastor like at a coffee shop because his church he was rather than rather than filling his pews and getting his ten percent cut he opens a coffee shop because churches are failing so hard. They know the churches are failing, man. No, I don't mean it like that. That's not that's not what I mean. It's the spirit. I, 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 the no, I don't mean failing spirit. as I don't I don't mean failing by numbers or failing as a business model. I mean I mean they're actually failing to be a church. Well, I forgive them. Yeah, that's, that's great. The, right. All right, I'm gonna go, guys. I, <laughs> my performance. Oh. I, have, I don't have performance endurance yet, so. It's okay. My alter, it's okay. My, my alter ego is gonna. Come I, I out really he's, hope he's we get bitch. to talk again. I, I hope we get to talk again soon. Oh yes, I really do. Yes. I'm. A, I'm trying to do a thing on Saturdays that just anybody who wants to drops by, but it's it's yet to emerge. So stay tuned. Well, and I will. And make sure you like, sub, and share. Um, 
feed me any links you want in the description and whatnot. Thanks for yeah, being here, Sherry. I, I'm glad to yeah. be yeah. chaperone. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>